Hello everyone and welcome to this year's Ice Cream Social for the 2020 marching band season. Uh, I'm really excited that uh, all of you could join us in this kind of weird time, but uh, this should um, keep us on track for getting started with next year's marching band and next year's school year. So for this presentation, we are going to introduce the staff and the student leadership that's going to be instructing your students. This is going to give everyone an idea of what the band program at Terra Nova High School is like. We're going to go over expectations from band members and parents. We're going to get the fall schedule, the summer schedule, and the um, fall the fall performance schedule. We're going to reveal the 2020 field show theme, and we're going to collect the contact info for all members. So first off, introductions. Uh, I am Mr. Luce Hatter. I am the director of the Terra Nova High School Band Program. I've been teaching here for four years and I have been having a ton of fun with it and I'm really excited to get things rolling next year. We have Mr. Peters uh, directing our color guard. He is a student at SF State. He has years of DCI experience, especially in Blue Devils B Corps as the color guard captain. Ms. Hernandez also will be assisting with Color Guard. She has um, many years of experience in Drum Corps as well. She also goes to SF State. Mr. Bishop is another uh, student at SF State. He's studying music education. He's been a percussionist for many years and he is the uh, drum major for Blue Devils B Corps. Also joining us will be uh, Mr. Below. He is a student at SF State and he has been a mount specialist for about eight years and he's going to be instructing our front ensemble. All right, for student leadership, uh, we have section leaders that will help instruct students uh, throughout the gear, give them an idea of what everything that we do is like, teach, be the kind of primary resource for teaching and drilling and making sure that the students know what they're doing. So for Color Guard, you're going to have Nick and Jaden Fernandez. For front ensemble, that's all of the pit, that's all of the mallet instruments. You're gonna have Nika McGann. For drumline, that's snares, tenors, and bass drums. You're gonna have Christian Guido as your drum captain. For high winds, this is flutes, clarinets, and alto saxes. Uh, Caitlin Menjavar will be your section leader. For high brass, this is trumpets and uh, mellophones or French horns. Amanda Chen will be your section leader. For low win winds, that's uh, low brass, the trombones, tubas, baritones, as well as tenor saxes and berry saxes. We're going to have Rosie Bruxford. Next up, we have drill captains. Drill captains will really help instruct, help me instruct uh, the members on marching. They'll lead marching sectionals for the freshmen and just get everyone on the, on the same foot at the same time. So our drill captains this year are Jessica Ruiz and Amanda Kalimlim. Our drum majors, there we go. Our drum majors this year um, are going to be returning for her third year, Shane Munkata, and she's going to have an assistant drum major of Emiliano Olson. So, what is band like at TN? Well, band has many meanings at TN. Um, it means concert, marching, jazz band, drumline, color guard, winter guard, winter drumline, pet band, all that fun stuff. Um, but there's a band for everyone, whatever you enjoy, whatever you like playing. Uh, no matter what group you're in, it's always going to be a nice big family. So first, let's talk about some concert bands. So we have two different types of band at Terra Nova High School. We have concert band and symphonic band. Concert band is for ninth graders only and symphonic band is for sophomores juniors and seniors only concert band meets during the day um, during either first second third fourth fifth or sixth period i don't know what period we meet this year but we are going to be meeting during one of those periods while symphonic band meets during zero period at 7 a.m Practice records are the main source of points for these classes. I require students to practice two hours a day outside of class and outside of marching band rehearsal minimum, and a parent must sign off on these practice records. So you need to make sure that your child is practicing and that you are 
verifying what they are practicing, that they did it all that time. If this will this will kind of make a, a a good tree of trust between myself, the student, and you, the parent. Um, so get those practice records in. That's the biggest way that students tend to lose points in band is practice records. We have a few concerts for both our concert and symphonic band. They both play at the winter concert, all city concert and spring concert. Um, the discovery music concert is only symphonic band. That's a themed concert every year. So uh, we get to kind of discover new ways of listening to music. And for daily, for, for, for bands that meet during the day, concert band, symphonic band, there are no scheduled after school practices. Notice that it says no scheduled after school practices, meaning that I don't anticipate any yet, but we may need one or two as we get closer to um, concert time, especially winter concert and spring concert. All right, marching bands up next. It's open to all grades. Um, the rehearsals meet uh, after school on Monday, Thursday, Friday, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. We have Saturday, some Saturday rehearsals from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on some Saturdays, we compete around the Bay Area or down in SoCal for championships. Uh, we do rehearse some of the music for marching band during the day in symphonic and concert band classes. So your kids will know, come in already knowing the music for their band class and get a little step up. In fact, it's one of the most fun parts about band is uh, being around all these people all the time because you're doing band camps and and hanging out with them after school and before school and you really make a close connection with these people our jazz band it starts every january so that means our next jazz band season is going to be january 2021 uh, rehearsals are after school twice a week usually on a tuesday or a thursday but that could depend on student availability we typically have one meeting where we determine a schedule that will work where we can meet twice a week performers uh th or performs throughout the spring semester uh at various locations and various venues we do uh january jazz every year at the, at the moose lodge um, we sometimes perform at the talent show we sometimes perform at spring concerts earth day um, various other gigs that we where we perform and sometimes it's it's just like a week or two notice that's like hey next wednesday we're going to be performing at a groundbreaking ceremony for the district so let's have an hour of music getting get ready to go uh, for jazz band at terranova high school we only allow piano guitar drum set bass trumpet trombone or the, anything in the saxophone family only this is the, the traditional big band instruments and that's the type of music we play we do play some combo music too which means a smaller, smaller group, but um, we really want to stick to those instrument types. If you don't play an instrument, um, any of these instruments, uh, then what a perfect time to pick up a new instrument, learn, and really explore a new side of music. All right, Color Guard. So Color Guard, or CG, as we sometimes call it, you, en you do enroll in symphonic band or concert band, depending on your grade. In fall, Color Guard meets for an extra practice during zero period. So in the fall semester, uh, all Color Guard members, including concert band, have practice outside of the of, of the band room, right outside. They practice their routines. They the older people kind of help coach the freshmen, and it's a great extra little practice to get the visual side of marching band really um, settled in for the year. Uh, so if you are a freshman, per be prepared to still meet at 7 a.m. for uh, that time with the Color Guard members. After marching season, so that's after, I'd say, the end of middle to end of November, Color Guard folks play instruments for the remainder of the fall and spring. Or if you choose, you can talk to your counselor about dropping the class at the semester. Uh, we've had many people do that before, but... The important thing is you have to stay in the class for the entire semester. So they're not going to say, okay, you can drop it when there's two weeks left of the semester. That's not how the counseling department really likes to do things. Meetings are the same as marching band, Tuesday or Monday, Thursday, Friday, 
but they might change depending on staff availability. So for example, if Mr. Peters or Ms. Hernandez can't make Thursdays, they might meet Wednesdays instead of Thursdays. So Color Guard might be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Band might be Monday, Thursday, Friday. But that all depends on, on the staff availability. That information will become clear closer to Band Camp. Winter dr Guard and Winter Drumline, we have um, two ensembles that are an extension of the drumline program and the guard program that take place after the marching season. They're open to marching band members at any skill level. You don't need any prior experience to participate in either one. Uh, they practice three times a week plus sectionals. And the seasons run from about, I'd say early December to mid April. The only issue that we usually come up with is kids usually want to do both and a lot of the times we're going to be competing in two different circuits so students will probably have be having to pick one or the other but that's a little bit more information is going to come out on that um, near the end of next year's marching season all right let's talk about a couple of expectations first of all we have expectations for students so this is very clear and concise something that you, you students you can look back on and say okay i need to do this to be a member in this band first we expect you to practice your music and drill when you get home outside of rehearsal outside of class practicing really helps refine everything that we do it really makes it solidify in your brain when you are done with rehearsal just going over it once or twice at home right when you get home have a positive attitude. This really goes a long way, um, especially when you're asked to do the same thing over and over and over again. It can get very daunting, but don't get discouraged. Keep it up. Have the good attitude. You know, have the success in mind. Try your best at all times. I think it goes without saying. In music, you need to put forth 100%. You need to give it your all all the time. All I ask you is that you do your best. And if it's not, if it's below where we need it to be, then we'll work on it. If it's above where we need to be, we'll still work on it. Maintain your uniform and equipment. This is making sure that your marching band uniform, your instrument, your flag, your rifle, your whatever it is that you use for band is maintained to the best of your abilities. Uh, instrumentalists, things that you need to be aware of and have on hand that I shouldn't have to provide are reeds, cork grease, um, you know, little screwdrivers to tighten up screws or brass, your, um, your valve oil, your slide oil, uh, tuning grease, those kind of small things. I do um, a lot of maintenance on instruments in my spare time. So I can handle um, a fair amount of instrument maintenance that you you can give me, but some of the bigger issues like welding or uh, resoldering are a little bit outside of my skill set. Next one is attend all rehearsals, all, all, all rehearsals. Uh, rehearsal is the time that we use to make our show the best that it can be. Um, and you might think, okay, I know all my stuff, that's great, but what about the people around you who need you to be right so that they can be right? Uh, if you aren't there at rehearsal, that means that other people around you are going to be let down and they're going to have to work even harder to achieve their goal. And that's not very fair. So attend all rehearsals that you can, even if, you know, you have a sore throat for the day and you really really can't play or you just like i am just so so tired you know obviously make sure that you're okay enough to be at school but also come to rehearsal you can sit on the sidelines that's okay we just ask that you be there and learn whatever we're doing that day same thing goes for performances performances are a bit more uh, important because we have such a small band even one person missing will ruin an entire form. It'll change the entire symmetry of a block. 
So you cannot, cannot, cannot miss performances. Every one is important. And actively participate in fundraisers, but also actively participate in everything that we do. Um, we do a lot of fundraising for band. The only funding that we get from the school is the paycheck for me and the room. That's essentially what we get. We fundraise everything else, whether it be grant letters, uh, dinner auctions, pancake breakfasts, mattress fundraisers. There's tons of fundraisers that go on throughout the year that we need you to be a part of. All right, parents. So I have a couple expectations for you too. First of all, I expect parents to be involved. We need parent support in order for this program to keep, keep running and for it to survive. I ask that each family put in at least two hours per parent per year, and that is really an easy ask. Um, those two hours can be fulfilled just by, I don't know, volunteering for a football game, selling scarves at a football game, or um, feeding the kids at a competition, or driving the equipment truck down to a competition, or loading the truck the night before, or participating in our, you know our fundraisers, setting up signs for Fogfest, uh, tearing down uh, things at the Moose Lodge after our March fundraiser. There's so many opportunities to be involved. Um, and we need parent involvement. Westmore High School over in Daly City used to have a very big marching program that collapsed because of lack of parent involvement. Ask questions, please, 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 please. Don't be afraid to ask me. I might be uh, a very, you can't really tell just by this video, but I am, I've been told that I'm very menacing looking. I'm very tall, big person. Don't be afraid. I'm just a big old teddy bear. I just want to know, get to know you, your kid, and help you both succeed. So please ask me as many questions as you'd like. Um, I'm here to answer them. Trust, please trust me that that myself, the other parents, the staff, the student leaders only want what's best for the program in its entirety. Um, and that's all I, I ask. Also working together, uh, parents working together can accomplish so many things. There's an old proverb that says, alone fast, together far, and that rings true so much for parent this parent organization at Terra Nova. We have such an amazing uh, booster pr uh, program that only functions because we have so many hands doing so much work. Um, so don't be afraid to get yourself involved, be a part of it. You are a band booster. If you're watching this slide, you're a band booster, <laughs> whether you like it or not. All right, here are some important dates. For summer and fall, I'll leave these up here for a while so that you can screenshot them or write them down. In summer 2020, we have our mini band camp, which is all incoming 9th and 10th graders. So that means you freshmen who are watching right now who are going to be in 10th grade, that's you too. From June 15th and 16th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., that's at Terranova High School. Um, I know that we are, might still be under lockdown for COVID-19, so depending on uh, what restrictions are in place for the state of California um, on those dates. We will either be canceling band, mini band camp or having it with health and safety in mind. Um, band camp proper, which is all marching band students, meets from July 20th to August 1st, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., just on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not on the weekends. Um, and that's all at Terra Nova as well. Uh, make sure your kid brings a lunch, make sure they bring sunscreen, water, all that fun stuff. This is where we learn um, almost half of our marching band show. So this is so, so important that you make sure that uh, you're keeping these dates open. And for our band leadership, which was announced a few slides earlier, um, we're going to have a meeting on July 17th and 18th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. just as a quick leadership institute. For the fall of 2020, our marching band competitions are October 10th at Gilroy High School, October 17th, Dublin High School, November 7th, at Independence High School, 
November 14th is James Logan High School, and the 21st for the 22nd is the Championships, which is in SoCal. They don't have a date yet, or they don't have a, a location yet, I'm sorry, uh, but we, we're waiting on the location data. All right, let's talk about the 2020 field show theme. So, um, when thinking about the show for next year, uh, one word kind of just kept popping, popping up into my, into my brain, and that was revolution. And I started thinking, like, okay, what does that mean? Does it mean, you know, does it mean something turning, turning around? Does it mean a political uprising? Or does it mean a song from the best band of all time? <laughs> but I think for revolution nowadays, it's less about revolting against and more about propelling into the future, def more of defying the odds rather than defiance of the system. And I think that's best explained with this little video. Revolution has always been an important part of our history. It means change is coming. It means innovation is on the horizon. Revolution drives us to the future. everyone there you have it our 2020 field show theme this year is revolution set in the industrial revolution in america we follow one inventor building his greatest invention ever a cloning machine he's going to work against all of his other workers to try and revolt against the concept of the assembly line and henry ford and big business so i hope that you guys all enjoyed this presentation uh, we have just one more thing for you all to do, and that is fill out an informational form for all families, all students. Uh, please make sure that you are filling this out to your uh, best abilities. Parents, you guys are going to need to also uh, be with your student in filling these out. There's some information uh, so that we can get a hold of you over summer uh, via email. So please fill that out as best you can, and I will be collecting responses all the way up until band camp. So I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful end of the year. Uh, stay strong, stay musical, and stay safe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the Zoom Q&A in the link down below.